the possibility mindset asks what's possible and never stops asking. So today, I'm here to inspire you to become greater and to think differently about what might be possible for you. Whether you've just had your best year, I know that's some of you, or if you've just had your most challenging year, I know that's others of you. Something greater is always possible. If organizations would realize there's always the next peak that we can get to, then they're always gonna be performing at their best. Because if you think you've hit the peak, you just kind of back off and coast a little bit. But if you realize that we can be greater, that everyone together can get on board with that vision and say, okay, let's up it to the next level and experience success in a way we've never even imagined was possible. Failure is not a dead end. Failure is just a fork in the road. And we choose which direction we're gonna take in that fork. Because see, you can choose to let failure make you, not break you, hone you, not own you, refine you, not define you. But you have to choose. So when you hit these hard points in the road, may the forks be with you. I believe if organizations wanna to get to the next level, the people in the organization have to have that childlike hope and wonder and drive that so many of us have lost. And that's exactly what happened to me. One day, totally out of the blue, America's Got Talent reached out to me and said, hey Devin, we found some of your videos on YouTube. We love your stuff. Will you come to Hollywood and audition for season nine? I'm seeing me behind the wheel of a Porsche and I'm seeing my Instagram following just explode overnight. I mean, the lights, the cameras, the judges, it, it, was, it was surreal. And I went out there and I performed my magic. Then, I heard the sound that changed everything. I got buzzed. That was the end of America's Got Talent for me. I got kicked off. I didn't make it through the audition. The highest point of my career became the absolute lowest, just like that. But the possibility mindset asks what's possible and never stops asking. And if you want to level up, if you want to hit that next peak, failure has to be a part of the culture, but with the mindset that you know you're going to learn from it and allow it to be a bridge to the next level of greatness. How do you choose the fork that's actually gonna help you and keep you striving toward greatness? This whole juggling journey taught me three principles. Start ugly, start small, and pick up the ball. Now by ugly, I don't mean hey, be sloppy and be careless. I just mean start imperfectly. Because when you drop that ball, it means you're challenging yourself, you're doing hard things, and you're gonna get better. The reason that I use magic and soccer in my presentation is because that's when I see sparks of people going, oh my goodness, but if he's doing that, what can I be doing? What's, what's inside of me that I can bring out and share in a way that's gonna make a huge impact? He was funny. He was entertaining, but he had a great message. Some of the tricks and the magic that he worked into it couldn't have been more spot on for our brand. And when they bring that kind of passion and energy to work on a daily basis, it starts to transform all of the people around them. It's never too late to pick up the ball and discover what's possible for you. Because remember this, Something greater is always possible.